For your next corporate function or children's party, why not try Sig and Fag, the cigarette clowns? Look, I've never been able to say it to anyone. Oh, no, 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 no. we're back, we're back. Uh, right. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Hi. um, right. Um, so... So what, what were you saying? Quickly, quickly. Well, I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to have six of them. What the oh. fuck?! <laughs> Although the advent of the compact disc was still years away, many fans, and indeed eyewitnesses, questioned the official assassination theory. Was George Orwell acting alone before taking the fatal shot? Olympic gold medalist Oliver Stone took up the case and in his Senate report to the United States music industry outlined certain inconsistencies with the reported facts. Claims for one that the Memphis Book Suppository that Orwell fired from is actually located some 2,000 miles away in a different state altogether. Although the evidence seems circumstantial, it pales in comparison to Stone's belief that Orwell had in fact died two years earlier and was therefore physically unable to pull the trigger due to ill health. Amazing! Recreating the path of the motorcade, Stone was able to prove that the bullet that pierced Elvis's head that had killed him was not fired from the book suppository as was suspected, but from an adjacent area to the motorcade on this grassy knoll. A government cover-up to hide some higher truth? Or was Elvis about to expose himself? Soon, conspiracy theories began to fly, with everyone from Cuban President Cigar Castro to Senate incumbent Lee Harvey Oswald and even children's author J.K. Lewis Carroll suspected of organizing the assassination. In 1992, the Warren Commission report into public assassinations concluded that Elvis had indeed been shot. A damning admission? Or was something big about to hit? A 2004 newspaper poll revealed that one in eight, or 73% of all people, believed that a cover-up had indeed incurred. Then in 2007, 30 years after the event, a special commemorative Elvis Presley tour CD, DVD and matching t-shirt was commercially released. Track 4, Vivas Las Vegas, was one of Elvis's signature songs. Seen here being played at normal speed, the record seems unremarkable and a little bit amusing. But at one minute, 43 seconds, a small glitch can be heard on the recording. Using computer technology and advanced mathematical algorithms, the glitch is identified as this curious cryptic statement. Did Elvis foretell his own death and those that were responsible? We may never know. One thing is certain, however. The mystery of Elvis's death, death rem still remains. No, still remains. Still remains. Still remains. Still remains. This is history! Chef Naguzi Undela Petapin's takeaway cafe and European cuisine steak barn and traditional Mongolian eatery food center all-you-can-eat BYO restaurant bistro oh has closed down. The premature man secured in the tomb did he awake code upon that marble slab. Coins upon my eyelids awake. A mouth of dust, <gasps> lips sewn shut. My limbs to life, I am awake. The life sucked from his very marrow. As to the floor, I stand awake. Is this a dream within a dream? A nightmare state? Please, prick me, I am awake. Entrapped within a living grave. I scream aloud, I am awake. You believe yourself gone, a life snuffed out. I tell you all, I am awake. The light put out, the fire cold. Please believe me, I am awake. 
flowers with it, a cold air skate. Can you not hear? I am awake. A quick check of the recorded facts. Awake, awake, I am awake. The wrong man entombed, a funeral mistake. Awake, awake, I am, what? Again the living laid to rest. A fucking mistake! Drunk, passed out, taken for dead. I was lying in my fucking bed! Taken at once and pronounced extinct. Open the fucking door! I am awake! A pitiful cry from the living dead. Hello! Hello! The graveyard silent. Night has fallen. I am not dead. Hush, hush, sweet departed. I ah, hush, hush, sweet departed. Fear. Yeah, 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 ladies here at Dangles. It doesn't just rain, men. Look out, you hungry muck sluts. It's a steamy semen tsunami. Feel the nipples at the end of your breast burst through your fluorescent green safety vest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The King G of the Great Hard Root in the back of the tradie suit, Tito Crustonto, aka the Tourman. Look out, ladies. Man has it ahead. First Jed and Jamie show done. Mm. Now before we go, we should probably have a look in our mail bag. Can we have mail? Yep. How can we have mail? It's our first ever show. Mm. Our first letter is from Alice from Edith Vale. And Alice writes, Dear Jed and Jamie show, what time is Vasily's garden on? Well, thank you Alice for your inquiry, but as we say to everyone that writes in, our Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice. No, thank you, No, Alice. no. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Oh, thank God, that's over. I can't believe we spent that much time on literature. Are you colorblind? Look at that food. I got trailer makeup. I got, oh my God, it's Terry Tenfold. Give me a piece of that funky shit. 